Marco Royce, guys. Um, he's around 350k right now, maybe around a little bit more, a little bit less than that. And again, this was a, a player I uh, got first time in in for champs rewards. So we'll be trying him out today. How he feels in game. Now stats wise, he looks pretty good. Uh, perfectly fit as a cam. Great passing, great dribbling. Uh, physicals are good. Very good stamina. He can shoot really well. Um, and the pace is not bad. So 99 acceleration with 92 sprint speed. So sprint speed is a little bit lower. But again, as a cam or as a winger who is kind of you know not not uh, going getting in behind, he he should just be fine. I might also play him as a striker because. I kind of use them a little bit as a false nine and then kind of getting in behind. So maybe it works out. So most likely I'll be playing him as a striker, but as a little bit as a false nine. So he could pass as well and, you know, things like that. Uh, but apart from the stats, uh, he's 5'11". He has five star skill moves, four star weak foot. I don't know if there are two versions of this card or there's just one, but whatever. Um, he's control explosive. So... Uh, pretty good in that area for dribblers specifically. I hope he feels really good in game. Um, of course, he has uh, some play style. Scoring play style has chip shot and finish shot. Both of them pretty handy in some situations. At least the finish shot. He has incisive pass plus. So I think the through balls, right? Yeah, the through balls are more uh, accurate. Swerve passes are delivered with maximum curve and precision passes. Precision passes not something we use. But uh, pretty good to have for a cam. Uh, he has whip pass. Uh, then he has first touch plus so of course um, you know that, that when you give an R1 pass to him I would want to see how he feels how it it's basically that he should he should be feeling very good with the ball uh, he has flair he has technical and he has Trivella so pretty good uh, play styles in that scoring bracket as well as some that boosts his dribbling and passing so again very suited for a cam um, I'll be playing 4 2 2 2 so I don't know if I want to change that formation so he'd be either my striker or he'd be my winger uh, but again like those are also cam positions in 4222 right so um, CM cam cam and then striker so we'll see how it turns out um, and then uh, overall he looks great hopefully he feels really good in the game uh, for this price and this statistics uh, he looks really good um, and we'll try him out let's see how he performs. So definitely I have to say that he feels really good on the ball, no doubt about it. The skills come out really well. Ooh, that was, that was a nice chance. Took a little bit of time with that, but great chance. Yeah, so again, the dribbling feels good. I think it takes a little bit of time to kind of shoot the ball. Uh, the Trivilla was okay. Show many beautiful pass, long ball. Nice work there, Marco Reus. Um Wins us a penalty. So I'm trying to do a lot with him. That's that's the reason that like, we haven't scored yet as well. Let's see about this penalty though. Oh, he went the right way. A great penalty. I think uh, the shooting ability he has with that penalty is uh, pretty good. Nicely done. Beautiful. Marco Royce, finally, there we go. That's the Royce I know, and you saw me using him in a central position too, right? Um, great skills, that came out twice, and then beautiful finish too. Finish shot, I think, coming clutch there. Marco Royce, wow. That was an insane shot, man. Look at that. That wasn't a power shot. It was just a straight shot. Came out really well. The animation felt really good there. So we are actually playing him on the cam position now because I think that's a little bit more suited for Ruiz. 
or Ruiz, Ruiz, however you pronounce it. Nicely done, Marco Ruiz. Nice dribbling there. Oh, I thought I could take it all the way and score. Marco Royce, amazing goal again, man. Uh, I think at that position at Cam, he's really excelling and uh, he's producing really nice work. What a touch that was, man. Oh, he still has it, has it, he still has it. Now, beautiful goal, beautiful goal. Man, his dribbling is insane. If you can combine his dribbling like R1 dribbling, oh, he went. So if you combine his R1 dribbling with normal dribbling, Royce is really good. And that finish shot rate kind of, uh, I mean, finish shot play style kind of comes in plus really well. Marco Royce, he ain't missing, man. If he's in front of the goal, what a finish shot that was. Amazing. Marco Royce, oh, it's the post and out. Marco Royce again, man. Beautiful goal there. Beautiful ball by Royce. What a touch. <laughs> Dude, Royce's dribbling is insanely good. Not going to lie. It's insanely good. Marco Royce for you guys. What a goal again, man. My God, that touch, man. Those touches that he's taking probably because of that first touch that he has. It was just amazing. Marco Royce, like, dribbling is, like, Next level, man. So good. And for a player that tall, that is absolutely nuts. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know how he's doing this, but he has been insane for me, man. Insanely good. I don't know. I just feel I might like keep him instead of Coleman, to be honest. Good cross by Marco Royce. Uh, good Tragino with that finish. Nice work. Simple, beautiful, easy finish by Marco Royce that. No problem whatsoever. Here for ball, Marco Royce. Marco Royce, amazing finish. Uh, the weak foot is not a problem. Or, no, wait, yes, four star, right? I don't know what to say. He's an absolute monster in the game. He's like, I don't know what his price is right now. Let's see. He's 320 right now. I don't know how he's that cheap, probably because of that pace, but. He was so, so good for me. His dribbling is absolutely crazy. His finishing is nuts. Um, 
attacking AI is really well. He passes the ball brilliantly. The only thing that, you know, which is evident in the in, in his stats is his sprint speed. Sometimes players like if you're playing him kind of in the wing or kind of camp position, sometimes if he's making a run, fast players are able to catch up to him. I saw him being beaten by Udogi as well as Kafu uh, once or twice. But other than that, he's been absolutely fantastic. Now, when you talk about pace, Koeman has 99-98 uh, sprint speed and acceleration, but he also gets outpaced at times. So for me, it's not a big deal. Um, for me, he was exceptionally more, uh, you know, a lot more uh, present in the game than Koeman. And... He took a lot more chances. He finished a lot more chances. So for me, he's absolutely wonderful. I might actually keep him in the team instead of Komen and use Komen as a super sub. Uh, but the best position for him is Cam. He might not be very idle as a striker. But if you are able to play him as a strike, uh, you know, as a striker, then, then it's well and good. Because I'm not saying that he's not capable of playing strike. It's just that how I play a game, my, I want my strikers to be really fast, a boot run, Warner are really good at those positions, but he did a fantastic job on camp. And that's about it, guys. Hopefully, you find this video helpful. If you're thinking to buy him, hopefully, this helps you out. If it does, please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time in another video. Till then, goodbye and cheers.